and welcome back to my channel and today I have a really really special update for you guys um, as you can see I said yes yes they proposed to me back when we were in US and we were on a road trip and um, we were heading from LA to San Fran and with friends and we stopped by this really really beautiful small little town of Carmel Carmel by the sea and um, it was a really really interesting um, surprising proposal because I really did not see this coming at all it was just really really nice um, I'm really happy as you can see and yes thank you so much for all your congratulations friends um, basically we were having sort of like a late lunch, early dinner um, at Carmel at one of the seafood restaurants and then um, we were going to um, head down towards San Fran because it was getting late. When I was getting myself some coffee and dessert, um, Dale was suggesting that we should check out the beach and we were like, what's special about the beach? Because no one really recommended us going to Carmel Beach. We only knew about the town, Carmel by the Sea. So we were like, okay, since it's called Carmel by the Sea, why not check out the beach? So um, we were taking our own sweet time and I had no idea that he was actually planning to do it at sunset. So me being a girl and um, Chai, my other friend, um, we, we just loved like, you know, taking pictures. So we just kept wasting time on our way to the beach, taking pictures and then he and Edmund just kept rushing us and I was like, why are they rushing us to the beach? Like, it's not like some famous beach. <laughs> so we were like, okay, never mind. I mean, the boys for the first time had an opinion. So we were like, okay, we're just gonna walk faster. So we had to drive to the beach. We walked to the car, got the car, um, drove like, it was really close by. Just drove a little bit down, further down to the beach. And when we parked, um, I looked at the beach and I was like, it's a really nice beach. It's 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 a pretty normal but really really nice empty beach. So I was like, oh okay, I guess we could like stay here for a while and like watch the sunset since it was about the timing. So we got down and there was this like boardwalk kind of like staircase, wooden staircase, and then we were all in sneakers because we just came from like a dance camp and we didn't really change in the car to like slippers. So we were all in sneakers and socks. And usually a normal human being would not want to take off their socks and sneakers and walk down to the beach and get sand in their shoes, right? So Chai, me and Shue, like our friends, we were just like, eh, okay, like let's just like stand on this boardwalk and not do anything not, not do anything crazy. And then of all people, Edmund, because Edmund was the only one that knew what was happening. So of all people, Edmund decided to like take off his shoes and socks and Trust me, he is like the laziest person to travel with. He does not like to do such things that are out of his comfort zone. So I was like, what are you doing? And he was like, guys, the beach is so gorgeous. We need to walk on it. And I was like, okay. Then Chai looked at me and I looked at him and I was like, what's wrong with Edmund? Like, we're wearing shoes for Christ's sake. And then he was like, he took off his shoes and his socks. He picked them up and he walked onto the beach and we were like, oh my god, like we have to be accommodating to friends when we're traveling with. So I was like, okay, we're just gonna take off our shoes too and our socks and walk on the sand with our shoes in our hands. And then we were walking down the beach. Yes, we all decided to walk down the beach. And um, Dale kept wanting to walk with me near the waves. And I was like, so lazy. I was like, I don't want to get my feet wet. And then I was like, okay, uh, let me take some photos first. And me being a girl again, started taking more photos. I wanted to go to like, yoga poses and all that shit. And like Chai was happily taking photos for me because she had no idea what was happening as well. Um, so Chai and I just taking photos and the sun was just setting. After like a couple of shots, um, Deo decided to like take, drag my hand and like, oh, let's just walk. This, this sunset and this beach is so nice. Let's just walk and not care about them. And I was like, don't be so mean. <laughs> They're our friends. We're not here on like some romantic holiday. We're here on a friend's trip. And he was like, no, let's just walk. And I was like, oh, okay, you know, like for the first time he had an opinion about wanting to do something with me on a trip. So yeah, usually the girls are the ones that plan it, not the guys. So I decided to walk with him. Suddenly he decided to like turn me around, look at me and the rest I can't really remember, but all I remember is myself. <laughs> 
crying when he got down on one knee and I was just crying and crying and crying. I can't remember anything he said. All I remember is I said yes. <laughs> but he asked me if he wanted if I wanted to marry him. And yeah, I just cried and kissed him and hugged him and cried. And yeah, it was basically all that that's all I could remember. Him putting on the ring. It was a little bit loose. Uh, but yeah, I was just crying and saying yes and nodding my head the entire time. So yeah, I was really happy. It was a really, really perfect moment. And Edmund actually managed to get down the entire sunset in our background with this happening. And the funniest thing was um, um, when we were back in the car and then I was trying to find out like how it happened, um, I found out that Edmund, when, when Deo took me away to the beach, Edmund actually told Tai, I'm just gonna say a vulgarity new here, but Edmund actually told, told Chai to like, Chai, can you just fuck off? Something's going down here. <laughs> And Chai was like, why are you so mean? <laughs> and then when he whipped out the camera from the back, she was like, holy shit, like this is happening. And I was like, oh my god, I felt so bad to Chai because Edmund had no I had no clue how to stop her from taking photos. So it was really funny. And um, yeah, it was just really nice to have such close friends witness this happen for me. And Chai took a bunch of photos. Thank goodness she was taking photos because she was like ever ready with that camera to take photos. And yeah, so we had a bunch of photos and a really nice video thanks to them and it was just a really perfect proposal. It was a perfect destination proposal because I love beaches and I love the sea and every time we go on a holiday, my first suggestion wouldn't be some city or some cold place. It would always be like the sun, the sand and the sea. Like we, we love Bali and we love the beach. I mean, okay, I love the beach. Deo doesn't really like the beach, but um, yeah, so it, to me it was like the perfect proposal and the perfect surprise because I really did not see it coming. We were there on a dance camp um, with friends, so I really did not see how he found the time to actually plan this entire thing. I don't even know how he got the ring, so and till now he doesn't want to tell me, so that's, that's pretty sweet, yeah, so... I'm really happy and he can actually hear me vlogging this entire thing down. But yeah, I love you BB, I love you D, and I will be happy with you forever, I hope, yes. Um, thank you friends for all your well wishes, and I will make this work, and you will be happy, always, always, always. And yeah, if you guys have any wedding tips, let me know! Not that I'm planning, but it's nice to, you know, go on Pinterest and see stuff, because I'm engaged now. <laughs> Alright! I feel old. Okay, <laughs> so that's the update about my life. Um, yeah, if you want to see a close-up of my ring, it's actually um, a diamond in the center and sapphire surrounding it and sapphire because it's my birthstone and I really love the color blue. That's why my hair is blue too. Uh, but yeah, um, his mom um, flew over uh, recently and got me this diamond pendant necklace as well with heart shapes. It's just as an engagement gift and it's just really really pretty. I really love it. And yeah, I've been wearing it ever since. So yeah, I feel really accepted to his family. I've felt accepted since years ago but it's just different. It just feels really nice now to know that it's official, you know. But yeah. My full name is gonna be really long next time. It's like he's Indonesian so he's like gonna be long but yeah all right i will see you guys again next time in my next video it shall be a beauty one i promise thank you so much for watching and supporting me so much um watching my life story um if there's anything you want to know or any video you want to request just leave your comments down below i'll see you guys again soon bye I forgot to include the fact that I went to resize my ring and for those of you who are living in Singapore who might be interested to know how to resize your ring, um, don't try to go to those branded expensive jewellery shops where your ring did not come from um, because Deo got my ring overseas so it was pretty hard to find someone that could actually resize the ring and um, we actually went online, googled, and we managed to find um, Da Kuang Jewelry. It was great service from this really nice uncle. So if you ever ever need a good resizing of your wedding band or ring or any ring, um, just head down to Ang Mo Kio Avenue 4. Um, I will put the details of his shop um, address and contact details down below, but basically look for this uncle Da Kuang's 
it's great service and it's a lot cheaper. I think we resized my ring for only about eighty dollars. So yeah, good piece of information to know for you Singaporeans out there. Peace.